In 1900, a little native boy named Ben was born on an Ojibwa reservation. When he was seven years old, he was taken from his family. His hair was forcefully cut, and he was put into a boarding school. They were called that because internment camp was too harsh. He was beaten if he spoke his own language, forced to adopt Christianity, a religion of peace and love, and he had every bit of his culture stripped from him. Eleven years later, he was released. But where could he go? He was taught to be white, but was as brown as the savage he was told he was. Ben didn't fit in with his own people, and didn't fit in with the people he was taught to be one of. So it's no wonder that when his son Peter was born, he didn't teach him much of anything when it came to his culture. Ben was afraid that his children were going to be taken away too. Peter grew up without an identity, not knowing much of anything about his culture. When he joined the military, he got married and had a child of his own named Mike. This child too grew up without his culture, but eventually felt as though something was missing. He reached out to family and elders and learned everything he could, learning as a child would, even though he was a man. He vowed his kids would grow up knowing their past and culture. When Mike had me, he taught me how to be a Nishinaabe. He taught me about our medicine plants, about Gijimanadu, the creator, Megizi, eagle. He said that during wartime, we needed Okichida, warriors, to protect our people from harm. But now we need Okichida to protect our people from assimilation, from letting our culture die. But am I an imposter? I have a red beard and white skin from my mother. I've been told since I was a boy that I don't look Indian enough, whatever that means. My cousins are brown, but I'm not. Like my great-grandfather, Ben, I don't know where I belong. I look white, but feel native. I grew up wanting to be the type of Ogichida that my father said our people needed, a protector of our people and their culture and knowledge. But do I have that right? Am I Anishinaabe or white? Awegwenin, who am I? <laughs>